My name's John. Build. I tried to find out how to reach over 5k weapon damage without losing any uh, resources and recovery like resistances and heals and here we go. Major Savage on the main buff used the Cameron throne for the recovery and both stats. I can use the warrior, I, I feel I got enough sustain so I use that and vampire stage 2 so I can't be one shotted and both recovery, magicka and stamina and like pots we use the bloody mary for keep up the level and yeah you see the camera and like pots the speed pot for 30% faster over 40 PvP and a 36k with 60 hundred of recovery that's pretty needed with the Dragon Age. And if we are gonna buff up first the weapon damage 3383 of weapon damage and with the set together and that's a cooldown of 5 second procs we got finally uh, 4409 and with yeah that's not all because with the fury and the rough passive we got another thousand makes five thousand four hundred of weapon damage when procs all run up and that's pretty good for a, for a tank i wanna say yes and if we gonna watch the resistances also is not bad 24k with a 20k and 2k of crit resistances with a 42 of uh, critical there I start to show up my hidden builds and also on the back bar really insane I got a little bit more of magic 11k with 600 at 24k is needed for 1 versus x and a little bit more 36k with the same recovery and 28k with 25k of resistances plus 6k additional from the blood spawn good night Let's jump into the sets and on the main bar I use a great sword enchantment with this uh, weapon damage glue for 5 seconds every 5 seconds I reapply a light attack for getting off this whole weapon damage increases and yeah on the back bar is the best to use a device sword so 20 of ulti but I didn't farm it yet because together with your blood spawn you make a huge combo that you can uh, pop off your ulti the whole time and that's uh, really good for surviving the whole time this makes unnatural and then we have uh, the waste with maximum stamina we infuse it and a device pieces and I infuse it on the legs and an impen you could use also more impen if you like and that stacks up 750 of weapon damage, just a few set. And if we gonna look uh, together with the passive from the heavy armor makes additional uh, 750 from the set and 250 from the rough passive, heavy armor passive makes just 1000 and the warrior 270 makes uh, 1200. 71 of additional weapon damage without this set. Here we go with the second set. This set boost up, then the rest whole weapon damage, and we got the shield in reforce it. That's the 
best for me with the three step lift and then we completed with a briar hard uh, hand in the wines you could use also in pen with a max stamina glyph and also the whole jewelry the neck and boat rings are three times most weapon damage and three robust so and if you're gonna see the set gives you two time crit a max stamina and he a 10% chance uh, it's a little bit strong that the Huntington's Rage 400 and heals you also every crit strike heals you for 500 that's a huge combo together with the uh, rally and uh, resolving vigor. The Briar Art 3 procs every 5 seconds and heals me up for this uh, 500 and increases a little bit more the weapon damage that the Huntington's Rage and makes that better than the 7th Legion in my opinion because I gain one trait of max of stamina and not one trait of uh, health recovery which I find useless. I run 5 heavy and 2 medium, 2 divines, 3 in pen and 2 infuse it. And if you're gonna look that at a 1 uh, stamina recovery and a chance to regain the ulti together with uh, your sword, device sword, you combo that and an additional 6000 of both resistances. Are you kidding me? We got over 34k of spell and over 30k of physical resistance together with that with 5400 of weapon damage. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, baby. Yeah, there I showed you the trick. And here we go, the recovery, I got every 2 seconds uh, 60 hundred of uh, stamina recovery, but that is the alternative. You got the rush, which from the 200, 30% increases. Adrenaline from the race, 700 every 5 seconds, heavy armor passive, 500 every 4 seconds, and heavy strikes, 30% of resources back. Justice race with the combo of the Dragonite makes that sustainable. Here we go on the bar skill bar 1 Evil Hunter increases 2100 of the crit which is pretty good on this bar and expose the enemy for 5 seconds cannot return for 3 seconds and the passive from the fighter guild an additional 3% of weapon damage just slot it. Then uh, we got Stampede for Sneerim 60% is the first shock for your opponent and because crits also every time the dizzy swing for knocking back three bars for 3.5 seconds and yeah stunning them and 25k when that creates that's holy shit then we got rally which uh, increases your whole weapon damage by 20 percent which makes the healing also better higher are your weapon damage more you can heal up and that every 2 seconds gives you 1400 of health that you combo together with the Vigor which is pretty good and when the effects and also a 12k of additional health that makes sustainable 1 versus x the health in the pvp for surviving and don't die and don't go down I love that skill reverse slice a 300 percent additional damage when that crits I had that over for 40k when it stacks up 5000 weapon damage uh, 89% for the nerdy allies so also the other when they are nerdy they get that in the face and here we go the ulti uh, makes a good damage because also good damage over time for the whole uh, vampires that's cool and yeah, I chose it this more for the highest weapon damage, 5% gives you additional, plus uh, let's see, 6%, here we go, 6% makes 11% of the whole weapon damage just on this bar, a bit like me, yeah, on the back bar, let's see what we use. Uh, volunteer armor because exposed uh, the whole night plates in the readers from 10 meters makes magic damage over time and gives the melee attackers back and both resistances pushed up by 5000 that's for the dodge roll 50% chance like a 5 heavy tank makes it comfortable with the two pieces makes also a bit of the snare off and there is only bigger higher area weapon damage uh, that heals me over 20k when it's all buffed up and pretty comfortable together with the rally 
and the big rolls of all your opponents, uh, for your friends, I'm sorry. And yeah, that's pretty cool. When stacks up, heals really much more. And the Resolving Vigor, because it gives you this 200 additional uh, damage yield and 25% for 3 seconds, so you got the small window, the better heal up of the Vigor. And yeah, your heals are a little bit better and increases also your whole weapon damage for 7 seconds when it's active. It's also important to say, many people don't see that, and the pierce the armor because when that crits can crit for 12-30k of damage and gives him this major, uh, major breach, 5000 off. That's pretty nerfy and pretty hot together with your sharper weapons on your main bar, I love that. And yeah, the spell wall because reflects 6 seconds all of the flying damage incoming and blocks and gives you the resources back by your Dragonite passives and in this moment you can do whatever you want, you can decide to make a counter or you can really uh, also escape dodge rolling then away so you never go down and use that together also with the dodge roll chance and when you block also yeah and in the next patch I will change that to uh, this skill are pretty much good for uh, boost up your ulti because there you got also your blood spawn you got also your sword which are device which pushes up gains ulti points and that for the uh, reduces also the damage by your competitor and your enemies nerfs that pretty much up and it's a pretty good skill if I don't use shuffle I use that in from the next patch then we'll change that I guess and yeah what is important to say uh, I didn't farm it yet but I will soon and it makes that pretty good for the highest weapon damage and also really high resistances with the both uh, bar rotation are highly recommended for uh, my best experiences yeah and you can see also, yeah, if you jump into the champion points, there I put the 10%, 40% uh, and 7% together with um, the vampire passives, 10% boost, you boost up that and 50% for the dodge roll and also a block cost by your abilities, uh, by the passive on one and shield. 40% less damage here, 20% for all your direct damage, uh, a light attack 30% when you block, uh, precise strike your whole crit when you crit and you crit pretty often, precise uh, piercing for your whole weapon and pierced armor for lack of all the passive, so this is the fourth which you gain your ulti, then um, for your resistances 50 feet and 45, that's cool because you heal also up when the crits come in and all that thing, and yeah, with the Briar Rod uh, it's pretty hard to farm because it's the lowest drop rate in the whole game and you can farm that in Rothgar and both bar rotation are choices uh, for my best experience and is so recommended for uh, enjoy immunity, hard resistances, overpowered heals and finally over 5k of weapon damage which is sustainable. I and soon come out the next two magical builds. Cool man.